Got you loud and clear. Just a quick comm check there between Dragon and Mission Control and here. And Solo from the PLC, I just wanted to thank you guys for uh, bringing us home safe before we, uh, I disembark from Ship Endeavor. I'm sure Doug will have some good words for you guys as well, but uh, thank you for doing the most difficult parts and the most impart, important parts of uh, human space flight, getting us into orbit and bringing us home safely. Thank you again for the good ship endeavor. Thank you, Bob, for those awesome words. It's, it's absolutely been an honor and a pleasure to work with you from the entire SpaceX team. It's been awesome. words from NASA astronaut Bob Bankin. He's in the pilot seat, so you've heard him refer to himself as PLT. We're still standing by for our crew members to begin making their way out of the Crew Dragon spacecraft. And again, they're going to get some assistance, just the, the couple of feet to the medical quarters on board the ship. Uh, where they're going to be able to uh, get out of their suits that they've been wearing for all the, the final dynamic phases of the uh, separation events, deorbit burn, re-entry, uh, splashing down uh, just a little over an hour ago at 11.48 p.m. or a.m. Pacific time. Again, the recovery team. SpaceX Dragon from the commander. Go for SpaceX. There we have our first view of yeah, Doug Mike, Hurley. I just would like to sort of reiterate what Bob said and add uh, my thanks to uh, everybody over the last several years that's either worked in Hawthorne, McGregor, or down at uh, Kennedy Space Center. Anybody who's touched Endeavor, uh, you should take a moment to just cherish this day, especially given all the things that have happened this year. Uh, we certainly can't thank you enough. Our families can't thank you enough. And, uh, just proud to be uh, a small part of this whole effort to get uh, a company, people to and from the space station. They can celebrate with each other. We see you soon. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, hopefully in person. Thanks so much, Doug, and you're welcome. And, and thank you so much for those kind words. And we all wish you a safe journey home and a happy reunion with your family soon. And we look forward to seeing you in person as well. Some really nice words there from Bob Benkin. Mikey. There on your screen, we saw uh, NASA astronaut Doug Hurley egressing or exiting from the capsule. Might have been hard to see on your screen there, but um, we got a thumbs up indicating that uh, things are going well. Sorry, excuse me, I mixed up my positions there. Yeah, uh, those words were from Doug, and we have Bob that just came out first. Yeah, so Bob Bank and uh, the pilot, the Joint Operations Commander for this mission, out of the capsule now. So he's making his way over to the medical area, and now they're going to work to get Doug Hurley out next. And I think I saw a smile back. on Bob's face. <laughs> he, was, he was a thumbs up all the way as they've been giving us some regular status updates from inside the capsule they've been feeling really good and so now we're just standing by for our spacecraft commander doug hurley to make his way out into the fresh air for the first time in 64 days
All right, so they're getting set up and we should see spacecraft commander Doug Hurley making his way out of the capsule. And it looks like we've got him out. We've got him seated. There we go, another thumbs up. We've got some applause here. And as you can see in Mission Control, a standing <laughs> ovation for a job well done all around. Yeah, our, our crew members, Bob and Doug, are now safely back home on Earth. And uh, they're going to get checked out now by the NASA medical team. They're going straight into the medical quarters on board the ship. That'll be their first stop on planet Earth and then they're gonna be making their way up into a helicopter and then heading back to dry land. So uh, once they're complete, the team's gonna prepare Dragon itself uh, and they're going to begin uh, taking it back to shore.